What's up weirdos, what does watching silly little TikToks and breaking the law over and over and over again have in common? You, one of the big uh, YouTuber is doing it. Got her! Sniper Wolf, that's her name, SSS Sniper Wolf. If you're coming in blind, not knowing anything about the scenario, basically she's the bad, like for a lot of different reasons, but mainly one reason that people are talking about. But I wanna get into a little bit of the whole bigger narrative story around. Sniper Wolf, if you don't know her, used to be a streamer who would play a bunch of video games and she was a girl and people hated her because she's a girl and girls aren't games. G gamers, gamers aren't girl. And then also I think one of her first scandals was that she wasn't actually playing the games, but it was her boyfriend at the time who looked like, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about how he looks cause that's against YouTube's creator guidelines, which is something that she doesn't care about. But anyways, I think a picture speaks for itself. Cause there's this whole controversy if she'd only show like close up shots of her face while she was gaming and never the controller. So she actually, she was a fake gamer, but who cares about that? That's not a crime, it's just cringe. It's not a crime, it's just cringe is also Colleen Ballinger's excuse. <laughs> I'm not a groomer, I'm just a loser. I'm not a groomer. That was her in the past, okay, that's her then, her now, is an incredible content creator. Dad, 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 and mom, I do want to say that. That's what you call us. I want to say Kayla and Gwen. No. <laughs> She is so articulate. She has diapers and she's speaking better than I do. That's her content. She'll just watch a TikTok and then go, Hey, I hey, yeah. And I know what you might be saying. That's what I do, but hey. Cause that's actually like the narrative around her on YouTube is that she just looks at TikToks and then doesn't really have a point to it. She's just watching them and then says a couple things and then acts like that's transformative commentary. And people say that that is stealing content. And by people, I mean, Jack's films. And her videos get at least a million views each. So, what does she do? She steals TikToks and reacts to them. So in this video, he really goes in on Sniper Wolf and talks specifically about why he thinks that she is stealing content and why what she's doing is so bad and why he's specifically going after her. Also, by the way, I'm wearing these necklaces. These are from the new collection of on weirdothings.com. Look at this, we got skulls made of Howlite, silver plate, obsidian, real pearl, real pearl, not plastic, real pearl, sterling silver clasp and chain. This one, all real pearls, baby. And three other designs, they're all really high quality. I love them so much and they're available on weirdothings.com. Go get them. That aside though, each of her hundreds and hundreds of videos, she plays other people's TikToks and provides extremely base level commentary. This dude is running sideways. Yeah, so, and that's basically like his thesis is that she's just posting other people's videos and then just going, hey, oh, hey, hey, that's a guy in a hole, ain't it? And then doesn't go into any like commentary beyond that. She just like, just says some stuff and then goes to the next video. And that that is stealing content worthy of heavy criticism. Heavy criticism, by the way, that he is individually levying out like crazy against her. Cause if you go and look at this other channel that he made specifically <laughs> to make fun of her and criticize her, criticize her, not make fun of her, J -J Jax Films. It's got 483,000 subscribers. Again, just about Sniper Wolf. And all of these videos are, you know, specifically about her. Do you know what I mean? So this is a lot. If I'm being honest, me from an outside perspective, just looking at this, I do think it's a little bit extreme and like, okay, man. Cause yeah, she's just taking other people's TikToks and then uploading them and then monetizing off of, you know, all of their other people's work and stuff. I get that. But he's doing it specifically and exclusively about s -s -s Sniper Wolf. This isn't a channel dedicated to criticizing that, you know, free booting of content as a whole, which is also done by people who are in the sphere of like the left, like Hassan. I, I listen, I'm just gonna be talking about Sniper Wolf, but I am saying that from an outsider perspective, I do see a lot of criticism for Hassan for just like playing a video while he goes to the bathroom and it's like, uh, keep the chat entertained. I mean, is that not, is that not weird? I, listen, okay, you, and argue with me, okay. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that the whole criticism of using other people's content and then monetizing off of it without providing really transformative commentary is something that can be levied against a lot of streamers. And yes, I, okay, they call him Pazanabi. Okay, Hassan, they call you Pazanabi. I get it. I'm just saying a popular example of another person who, okay, also XQC, how about that? Okay, also XQC, Mr. French. A carrot that, that guy. It's a type of thing that is really normalized in Twitch culture. That's a fact, it is. And so this is Niper Wolf coming from Twitch culture. I can understand why she would be like, oh, come on, hey, what's up, what's up? I disagree. This is also why I don't watch streamers. Like I just can't imagine sitting and just watching somebody live streaming. I need it to be like, blah, blah, blah. like have a like ha have a point to it, not just 
Bro sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that, no, that's crazy because like for eight hours, that's a little bit wild to me. But that's what, you know, Twitch culture can be. And I'm saying that J -J Jack's films, <laughs> sorry. Jack's films can say that he's criticizing that as a whole, but really, he made an entire channel and it's just about her. Like, it's just about Sniper Wolf. No matter what you say, it's just about her. So I can understand why Sniper Wolf would be seeing this like, Oh my, like, le uh, uh, le I get that. I get that reaction. I can have empathy for her seeing this and feeling like, is what I'm doing worthy of this? Like, as a response? And you can say yes, that's fair. But Jax Films also has like a really big audience that's dedicated to him. Obviously not as big as her, relax. But I can understand why seeing this direct, constant, targeted criticism would really get under her skin and bother her. Now, here's the thing. She did start by trying to handle it offline earlier this year in June 28th, 2023. She retweeted Jack's films where he was tweeting about her saying basically that she's doing mental gymnastics and not actually stealing content. He was basically making fun of her for saying, read it. Jack's films quoting her, I invented reacting to other people's TikToks. Anyone else is copying me. And then Jack's film says, Incredible mental gymnastics. Hey, YouTube, at VidCon, are you sure you're okay with boosting her? Are you absolutely sure? Again, the adding of these people is a little bit like, bro, you can criticize somebody, but it's like, he is doing a lot with his criticism. He is doing a lot objectively. It's that thing of like, he is in the right here, but when you're in the right and then you go crazy hard on somebody because you're in the right, it's a little bit like, bro, bro. Like if you call my mom a bunch of cuss words, like this would be fair, but this and then this and then this and then this and then this, it's like, I think you were just waiting to punch someone five times and then knee them in the throat. I'm not saying that she's wrong, but I'm saying in this situation right now, I can have, we can have empathy and try to understand why she's feeling so harassed and targeted by Jack's films, okay? Anyways, she retweeted it with, Mwah. I can't stand that a female YouTuber is getting more views than me, even though I make the same content. Grr, life is hard. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, this is in an article from Forbes. Can you believe Forbes is writing about Jack's films right now? By the way, I am a Jack's films fan. I'm just being honest. I like Jack's films. I have watched his yais a lot in the past. I think he's funny. I think he's great. He did a podcast with H3H3 with Eric from Internet Common Etiquette. I like, I'll rewatch those podcasts that they've done. Like every, like, they're just, I mean, there's one part that I want. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. I am coming to this from a place of generalized being a fan of Jack's film. So I'm trying to be unbiased and see where she's coming from. But anyways, it's crazy to see Jack being written about in Forbes. <laughs> or John? I think his name's John, isn't it? Yeah, his name's John. What are you hiding, John? Anyways. She went on to say, for context, Jax Films made another channel where he copied my content for a few months, thinking it would blow up and get millions of views. It didn't. Now he's mad. Eh, I don't think she's fully right and that he's mad because it didn't blow up. I think that he just wanted to, you know, criticize her, but it was like, it was a lot, it was a lot. And she was really upset by that. And then she's like trying to, you know, we're duking it out. We're on Twitter, duking it out. And that is fine, that's fair and okay. Like she's losing to Jack's films in like this internet online war, okay? She would say something and then Jack would respond with something that's smart and funny and kind of makes her look dumb. And that's just, that's how Twitter goes, okay? He was winning and you can tell because she tweeted out one time, the only thing that is funny about you is your hairline. If your content was entertaining, it would reflect on your views. Honestly got him on that one, honestly, got him okay we can say got because his response was this tweet came from a youtuber with 33.6 million subs an adult youtuber and i feel like in that screenshot right there sniper wolf probably won that me personally if this is happening a bunch i can understand why she would be upset i can understand why she would be internalizing this and being frustrated by this i can understand it i can have empathy for the way that she's feeling in this situation i wouldn't have reacted this way but i also wouldn't have been posting a bunch of tiktoks with myself just going oh guy in hole but then on October 14th, Sniper Wolf posted this on her Instagram story, which is, I'm just, uh, why? Should I go visit Jack's films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. Yes or no? Uh, what? That is unhinged and threatening and threatening and threatening. I would be scared of that. If we have online beef and then you say, hey, I live five minutes away from your house. Should I come pull up? I would be going, hey, Colleen, back up. I thought you weren't a groomer. I thought you're just a loser. Not a groomer, I'm just a loser. And then she posted a picture of his house and she said, let's talk like adults at Jack's Films. Now, if I'm being honest with you, that feels threatening. That's threatening. That's literally threatening. And not only is that threatening, which by the way, is also being shown to her tens of millions of followers. It's not like, oh, you think I'm really gonna go over there and physically attack you, Jack? I'm just a sniper wolf. I'm just, I'm just a girl. That cannot be your defense when you're posting it publicly to tens of millions of fans who could 
potentially have a wacky person in there who might do something wild. Wacky and wild is what I call somebody when they commit a murder. Now there's been a murder in Savannah, and it's wacky and it's- Shut the hell up, it's literally not funny. God, anyways, this is what is known to gamers. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's doxing. She just doxed him. The definition of dox is to search for and publish private or identifying information about a individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. Okay, well, we know that she published private and identifying information. You know, his house. And we also know that she hates him and wants bad things to happen to him. So that's the malicious intent. But what about the part where you have to search for it? Well, she then posted on her Instagram story, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. Hey, did you know that you can't post anything on Google? Cause it's a search engine! Did you know that? Oh. Oh! Oh, we're dealing with somebody who doesn't have that many brain cells bumbling around in their brain. And that's why the content that they make is, oh man in whole. Ah! By the way, accusing me of doxing is defamation. Uh, not when you doxed somebody. You know? Because you just said he literally posted his address on Google, which is just exposing yourself for SEARCHING FOR HIS ADDRESS! By the way, you Google Jack Douglas- Oh, that's his name! Jack Douglas! Is his name John? For some reason, I think his name's John. Anyways, if you look for his address, it's not like it just pops up. She would have had to go deep and do some digging. Don't do digging! Don't do that! Don't be a freaky, weird- Freak. <laughs> so, okay, we have evidence that she searched for and published an individual's private information with malicious intent, which is the definition of doxing. And then she said, calling her a doxer is defamation. So we can kind of see where her like mind is at. Like in the, it's in the clouds. She doesn't, she's not thinking with her brain because it's not there. It's fine. Oh, first of all, not everybody has to be smart. Can we just acknowledge that and accept that? Not every single person has to understand how anything works. Like it's okay that she doesn't understand how the world works, but what's not okay is that she doxed him because that's illegal allegedly i think it's illegal anyways jack's films had tweeted that screenshot and then said you posted a video tonight of you outside our home with your five million plus followers to see while my wife and i were inside i can't make it any simpler than that if that's not doxing why did you delete it Ooh, got him she might have said that thing about his hairline but got him that's a win Actually kind of a loss because he just got doxxed, so rip. But anyways, the second that she did this, Jax Films had posted a screenshot of her Instagram story and then basically called YouTube to demonetize her and called her a dangerous creator, which is, yeah, fair, yeah, yeah. For all this, when she was just basically stealing and freebooting content, like a lot of people do, I would have said that that's, you know, not necessarily worth going to war at an individual for, like focus on yourself, like enjoy your life. And I'm sure he's enjoying his life. He's got a wonderful wife, Aaron, that he loves. But you know, like the whole J -J Jax Films channel, honestly, it's a funny bit. It is a funny bit. It is. I'm kind of coming around on it a little bit, but you could, I mean, it would feel really bad if you were a sniper wolf and that was happening. But she is in the wrong for what she's doing. But you know, that is complex. It was a little bit like I could understand how people could be upset for how hard he was going on her back then. Now, I don't see anybody defending Sister Sniper Wolf. I don't see anybody doing that. And if you are for her doxing somebody, just like, a crime? That's crazy. Another thing on her story was, this creep has been harassing me for months, then plays victim saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Jack is rich. I'm sorry. He has had a very successful YouTube channel for a very long time. Respectfully, he's rich. And no hate to Jack. Jack, John, Mr. Douglas, you're handsome and you're rich. I, but you are handsome. I don't know what. He had that pretty smile. Anyways, another tweet from Jack's Films was the harassing you claim I've been doing is documenting recent examples of you stealing creators' content, stealing jokes, and failing to provide transformative commentary. Honestly, a little bit nerdy. It's a little bit nerdy. It's fine. You can have nerdy criticism. It's fine to be a nerd. I also like Hamilton, okay? Uh, let me prove it. I was born to walk out on stage and go, you say, like I was born for that role. When I watched Hamilton the first time, I literally sat there and thought, if King George isn't me, I don't know who I am. I am a little bit of theater kid entertainment. A little bit, a lot, fuck! I'm also like regular nerd. I'm also a football nerd, because I like Patrick Mahomes. The highest EPA of any quarterback in history, okay? Expected points added. By him being on the field, no team is made better, okay? He's the greatest of all time. That being said, as a nerd, I can also recognize another nerd, and Jax Films is a little bit of a nerd with this criticism right here. Honestly, this is a nerd who is feeling the juice of vindication. 
vacation! Because he's not over there going, Man, you're stealing content anymore. Which is, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm calling him a nerd right now. I'm sorry, he's the victim here. He's the victim here. I'm sorry, it's just, when I saw him posting about Sniper Wolf the first time, because I had followed him in general, I was like, this is a little bit nerdy, but I love him, I love him. First of all, he's not reacting positively to this. I know that he's like actually very upset and like unsettled by the fact that his address got posted to all those millions of people. It is an actually bad thing that happened that had a very negative impact on him and his wife's lives. His wife, by the way, complete innocent bystander. Aaron didn't do shit. Leave Aaron alone, sniper wolf. Leave her alone. She's gotta deal with her nerdy husband. <laughs> just kidding. He's not a nerd. I love Jack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She also posted this on her Instagram story. Like, there was so much happening all at once. Like, look at this. Her tone here is a little bit wild. This is obsessive behavior? Is this really the only way you can get views on YouTube? Don't you have a wife? Yeah, they share true love's kiss on their wedding day. This guy's entire channel is just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. And it's just like shitting on me. And then his streams. This dude is just like low-key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? No, but you know who should get a restraining order? Him, because you showed up to his house and doxed him to five million plus followers. Yeah. Yeah, that's who should be getting the restraining order here. He's committing to the bit here. He's committing to the bit. And listen, I have done enough of my understanding why she would be upset by this. I have done enough of that at the beginning of this video. To the point that I'm sure a lot of people watching this are like, bro, ease up on Jack. I understand that. But I just wanted to really, really, really heavily front load this with an empathetic viewpoint for why she would be upset. But if you're watching what's happening now, you're like, there's no gray area. By the way, this is objectively a lot of videos about one person, but it's not his entire life. He made that channel as a bit to criticize you and to make a specific point. Part of the point being that it takes absolutely no effort to do your content, Sniper Wolf, where he can have his regular, fully functioning, prolific YouTube career on other channels, like his main channels. And he can create this other channel as just a side project bit to criticize you. And again, I understand why that would feel hurtful and targeted. But that's not his entire life. That's just your perception of his entire life because you are only seeing the things that are about you. Because you are a N-A-R-C-I-S-S-I-S-T-I-C. -S Narcissistic. Yes! I won my spelling bee when I was 14. Anyways, don't you have a wife? Okay, come on. Like, come on. Yes, he does have a wife. Here's a picture of them on their wedding day that he has pinned to his Twitter profile because he is so proud of their love and how they had just shared true love's kiss. Okay? Okay? You can love your wife and then also commit to the bit about criticizing a woman without being in love with criticizing the woman. I think you can. I think you can. That's why I'm announcing the start of my new channel. Hillary Clinton. I ain't think she that funny. I didn't know where my sentence was going when I started. Watch an entire YouTube channel that's just like going into Hillary Clinton's actual like political campaign speeches where she's not <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny only to me. That's not, I'm sorry. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids? Okay, who the fuck do you think you are? I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Boo! <laughs> if that was the whole channel, was just that video, and then me going, boo! If I was to do that, it doesn't mean that I'm in love with Hillary Clinton, but that's not a good point because, God, she looks so good. I love Hillary. I'm definitely with Hillary. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I need to take a second and just re re recoup myself. Recoup? Cooper? Recoup? Something crazy going on there. Anyways, a bunch of people called out YouTube for not taking any action, and then YouTube was like, yeah, she did it off platform. It's not like she used YouTube to do it. You should be getting into Instagram because she posted it on Instagram. And then other people said, no, this is between two YouTubers and she's uh, you, uh, using her platform and audience to dox one of your other, like you have to. And then they said, hey, could you just, you know, get your words together? And then they said, but we're being narrated by Cooper and he has a problem with speaking words together, right? Long story short, eventually, they demonetized her channel, except psych! They actually only demonetized one of her videos, her most recent one, and then people saw that, and then they said, you, you, you liar! You're literally lying! Weasley little liar! And then they said, okay, we'll take her off the YouTube partner program. So now her channel is fully demonetized. And then, interestingly, she has a second channel that wasn't demonetized. It's called S -S Sniper Wolf Top Videos. And she did something kind of funny. On the right, you'll see a video that she uploaded December 10th, 2017 to her main channel. And then to the left, you'll see something that she uploaded just recently on her still monetized Sniper Wolf top videos. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they're the same video. So she's evading the demonetization, which is against YouTube's policies, which means she should be removed from YouTube. But she hasn't been. She's evading the demonetization, which 
is tech like that is against what you're allowed to do on YouTube. But also, you know, let's not breeze by the situation. She did give an apology that might put things into a new context. Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jack's film, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Jack's film, by the way, isn't it Jack's films? I like that she's just calling him one, just like Jack's film. <laughs> for some reason, it's like I'm very sorry to PewDiePie's. <laughs> I'm really sorry to Great Mythical Morning. Anyways, Jack's film. While we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I am sorry for reacting the way I did when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately. Not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. She's already posted those videos of her being like, isn't he crazy? Isn't he crazy? Like, I don't know if posting this only after your channel gets demonetized really feels that heartfelt, but she keeps going. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it. Respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. Okay, Logan Paul. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. So you're thanking YouTube for holding you accountable, but then also directly trying to evade the accountability. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Also, uh, she posted this the day after she doxed him. We show up to your house. What you doing? Hey, pull up, bro. Call up, bro. Hey, so what, what you doing? What you doing? What you kind of get your back? There's something there. I totally don't know the lyrics though, but you know what I'm talking about. Somebody make an edit to that with me and make 13 edits of me, please. Make 13 edits. Oh, you know what I'm talking The What you doing? That audio, but me and Ben ghost hunting. Make that, make that. Because it's almost Ben's birthday, so Benny J edits would go fucking crazy if I could give that to him for his birthday. Back on track, because th there's a lot more to this story about Sniper Wolf, so let's keep good dig dig digging it. But you know what else is against what you're allowed to do on YouTube? Pfft, I don't know, posting videos where you're asking a 16 year old girl to flash you. Yeah, she did that. I'm not gonna show you the video for obvious reasons. Here's a screenshot from it though. Yeah, and by the way, in the video, obviously the it's censored. She censored it, obviously, but she, as an adult, did ask and then see a 16 year old's bodily, 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 body. Yeah, yeah. And they mentioned this video, the moment is featured censored in the, in the video with 2 million views and is the most replayed moment. Yeah, no, that's cool, that's cool. See right here, the spike right as the 16 year old shows. Yeah, that's a crime, like a fully a crime. So, so far two crimes, in case you were counting with me. But did you know that she's actually done Another crime? Here's another mugshot where she tweeted out that their neighbors called the cops because they heard screaming and she got arrested for disorderly conduct, but here's her mugshot. So that's a mugshot. That's, so that's what that is. But this is from 2016, and if you can believe it, she also got arrested in 2013. On July 22nd of 2013, oh, that's nine days before my birthday. Happy birthday to, uh, she got arrested for armed robbery. And to be clear, they said that the armed robbery was she got caught shoplifting and then fought the security guard. That's the story, and I'll believe that. So uh, basically, four crimes. I'm about to show you a video that I'm gonna blur the top part because there are minors in it. Keep that in mind. I'm blurring the top part because there are minors in it and I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna jump in and provide any relief with commentary. I'm just like, we're just gonna watch this and you're gonna see as it happened what she did. I don't know for sure that they're minors. I'm looking at the video, unfortunately. They're, they, yeah, no shot these kids are over 18. Now, we don't see their driver's license so we don't know for sure that they're under 18, but I'm gonna be honest with you. These kids are, in my opinion, I would be uncomfortable showing this video with it being unblurred because of how confident I personally am with my personal opinion that these kids are not 18. And I can say for pretty damn sure that she also thinks that these are young kids because of how she continues to refer to one of the kids, I, I mean people, as a little guy. So let's, I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> So what are we at? 
five things that are probably criminal. Three things that are for sure criminal. Two that are over Omegle and seem like they are 99.99999% illegal, in my opinion. And yet here she is with over 33 million subscribers on YouTube posting videos where she is doing absolutely nothing other than looking at other people's content and going, yeah, they're in a hole and getting money and clout and fame and success and brand deals and the support of the platform YouTube itself for all that in spite of all that. So basically my thesis is, yeah, Jax Films was making a lot of videos about her and I can understand why she would feel like, come on, go easy, la li la. I can understand that. I cannot understand anything else that she has ever done ever because she is an absolute criminal and in my opinion, a very bad person who should not be allowed to be monetized on YouTube because of her criminal and disgusting action. And that's why I wanted to come into this as empathetically as possible as I could for the beginning of the situation and really try to understand why she would be upset by what Jax Films was doing. The most charitable and empathetic possible view on her and her actions does not justify who she is and what she does, okay? That's why I made the video the way that I did and I hope that you stuck with me to the end so that you could see why I did it like this because she's a bad person and if you're looking at her and the things that she has done and who she is it does not make sense that she gets pushed so hard by YouTube but hey you know I guess the world isn't fair criminals get success I, I don't know hopefully she gets proportional consequences which in my opinion should be very extreme because the actions that she took were very extreme please subscribe because like from an outside perspective I can understand why people would be like oh come on you went so hard on her oh come on but those are people who are not actually digging into the entire situation and just want to go, come on, he's just being a bully because she's just a girl streamer, which is not what he's doing. But some people want to have that take and they want to have that opinion because they think that it makes them, I don't know, special or different or cool. And it doesn't, it doesn't. It just makes you, I don't know, a loser, a little weirdo loser, a little fucking freak. It doesn't, but like, look 